Yes, Mr. Khaled, you can start. Rahman, I want it. Oh, okay, Rahman. Okay. Got it, got it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Um, thank you so much for being here, scholars. Inshallah, for another one hour, we'll just uh, we'll discuss about Zotero. Uh, my name is Khalid. I'm working as a librarian in the library. So, unfortunately, it's not, normally we are conducting this kind of session uh, like a workshop. No? So we can we can just work together and we can practice together and. Uh, that will gain us more interactive option. But unfortunately, unfortunately this year, you know, because of the present condition, we have to conduct a session like this. So hopefully we can catch. Uh, so this is our uh, topic today, Zotero, an introduction. <clears throat> it is a reference management tool. And you might be knowing that why it is so important in your research cycle. You can hear me, right? Rahman? Uh, yes, we can hear you clearly. Yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. That is great. So the, it is a reference management tool. Reference management tool play an important role in a research uh, cycle you know, in your life. It saves a lot of time, which you may have to waste unnecessarily. Your time is so valuable. So we can see how this is helpful. Uh, reference management tools are helpful in our research cycle. We might be knowing that you know we have a topic always to conduct some research at, and we have to find something new in our research life. So to get that, you know, to uh, gain knowledge, to do something new, we have to know what has been done in our topic of research so far. So we have to let look back and see what how much the research, how much the work is already conducted in our in our in our uh, area of knowledge. So that we can gain through reading books, articles, watching videos, attending conferences, workshop, etc. Also, once we have sure that okay, we have a basic knowledge, then we are starting thinking about the new, like what can we find something new from this topic. Once we have a solution, we have a finding, then the next step is documenting that. So we have to either in the form of article or in the form of dissertation, whatever it may be, thesis, etc. So normally when we are writing, we are documenting something, we don't know unknowingly or knowingly, there are something which we already have in our mind appears in the body. Like, you know, in when you're writing article, maybe one sentence is exactly like what you have read somewhere. Maybe you have taken from the book or from the article. That is not intentionally, you know, you, it is in your mind. So you start writing that sentence. Problem is when we are going to give publication for publishing, they put all our paper in, in a software like Identicate or something. It will detect as a plagiarism or a piracy or you are copying. So normally not, not more than 20% of copying, like, you know, maybe we need to put the title sometimes that is okay but then the body of our paper in the document exactly the same sentence which we have read which, which is already published is considered as a copying or plagiarism that will stop you publishing your paper so how can we escape from this threat we can just put a citation like you know we are we are telling that while well, we are okay we are in, you know, we are putting this exact word or sentence then we are telling to the people that exactly I have taken this information from so and so paper. This scientifically, no, we are on the safe side. Secondly, we have morally, like you know, we have to respect our predecessors for their valuable contribution in our paper. So this is another uh, aspect. So we have to give the morally, we have to give respect to our old scientists, uh, the scholars, and. Secondly, scientifically, we have to avoid plagiarism issue. So we have to put references, citations in a body, like in a source of information in the body of our paper. At the end, we have to show the reference. Reference is a, like a set of uh, information about, it's a metadata. Suppose we are reading a newspaper, uh, an article, then in the, in the reference, we have to tell, okay, what is the 
uh, title of that article, what is the, who is the author, where it is published, in which, uh, which journal it is published, what is the page number, who is the publisher. So a set of information about, it's, a sec it's called secondary information. That will lead to the prime source, exactly where it is available. So we have to give that much basic information. That is called reference. So in average, an article, we can say maybe 15 to 20 references we have to, we have to show. And in the dissertation, which in the thesis which you are going to publish, maybe, maybe 40 to 50 or 60, that is really, it, it reflects your, the depth of knowledge. If you are putting 60 references, which is highly cited, that it really shows that you have gone through the basic information about the topic. So the more citations means more references means you have read a lot of information on that topic. Now, why we need uh, ref uh, this info, uh, what you call a reference management tool is each publishers has a set of rule to show the references. It is say that there are 9,500 this kind of rules is called citation style. Each publishes, for example, JAMA or, or Science or uh, radio, Radiology Journal, they have their own rule. So once we are submitting your paper for publication, maybe if you are putting all the references manually, it won't meet the criteria. Maybe you might be missing a comma sometimes. These are the rules, comma, space, you know, parentheses, asterisk, uh, if we have more authors, what you will do, maybe it, you have to write and others or comma, comma, or it all. So these are the rules. So we, maybe if you do manually, we will miss maybe some one comma that may reject your paper. Secondly, maybe you didn't, you, the first, first publisher is not accepted your paper. You have to submit to the second publisher. There the rule is entirely different. Again, you have to start from the beginning to put all these references, you know, that really kills our time, but your time is so valuable. In that case, we need a reference management tool that it, with that tool, we can solve this issue in one click. So that is the role uh, reference management tool plays in your life. There are so many reference management tools are available in the market. Some are free, some are, uh, like paid, uh, subscription-based, and famous, like uh, popular on our Zotero, EndNote, Mendeley. Our basic requirement is, okay, we need to collect references or citations from various resources, maybe from the database, from the newspaper, from YouTube, and there should be, we should be able to put the references in one place. Then we need to uh, organize them then we may need to share with our coworker. At the end, we need to put the references in our research paper. These are the basic requirements. Decision is purely ours. Which uh, tool, it can be Zotero, it can be Mendeley, it can be Endnote Online. Choice is yours. So what we are trying to do, we are just trying to give some introductions about all these kind of resources then it is up to you to decide what actually you need. Any reference management tool is okay for this based on your taste and your interest. But thing is that while you are downloading a reference management tool, any, to, uh, uh, any tool, don't try to download two tools at a time. That may cause you trouble. Like and if you are working on Zotero, just concentrate on that. If you're working on Mendeley, just do that. If you're working on EndNote, just stay on that. Don't try to switch between one and one another. So inshallah, by the end of the day, we are trying to uh, uh, learn how to download the Zotero, how to create an account, and how can we import, export references, and how can create a bibliography, and how can we add this citation in our paper, in our Word document. These are the basic information we are accept accepting today. So I'm just, we can go straight away. This is all, no, this is how, this is the area of downloading and how we can create an account. How can we download the citation from various resources? How can we download in groups? Then how it look like in our Zotero library, once we, down, once we downloaded the citations, 
then finally how can we export to how can we use it in our word file so these are the uh, expectation by the end of the day today so we can straight away we can go to download So we can, uh, it, it works in, uh, in Chrome, it works in Firefox, it works in Mac, but not in Internet Explorer. So I am working with Chrome now. We can straight away, we can type zotero.org. So we'll end up in this page. You, you can see this one, right? Uh, yes, we can yeah. see it. Yes. Yeah. So we are here now. So here we have a download option. You know, before download, we give the description what ex exactly how it will look like after you download. So that is what we are going to see today. So the first step is we we'll download. So we'll end up in this page. So we can down. I already downloaded. You can click download few steps if you if you, you want follow you want download now or you keep it for later Rahman, any i think uh, we can uh, give them one or two minutes to download yeah let us see yeah, so they can follow. yeah yeah you can try download it's in in a few steps it happens like now so Someone is let saying let it us will try. take time, but I, I don't think it will take time. It's just a basic installation, so you yeah, can just yeah. try. Yeah, we can just wait for two, two minutes. Those who can do, yeah, fine. Yeah, if you could download it in one or two minutes, you can follow. Yeah. If not, you can follow later in the recording if you would like to practice. So this allow us to download the Zotero in our desktop. And the second one, we need to download the connector also. If you have using uh, Chrome, yeah, we can do from here. Or if you are using other browser, you can choose the browser from here. Mr. Khalid, someone is asking, do they download the standard or the one with the custom options? The standard one. Download the standard one. Please download the standard one. Custom says we have to custom, so don't don't uh, do that. No, this by default standard on this mode. Once you download this thing, we can download the connector. So these are the two downloads we have. So this is, once we download, it will be saved in your desktop. I think someone already downloaded, so we can move on. Sure, yeah, okay. So once you download it, you can just download connector also. Once you download the connector, you can see an extra button here in your, uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the right side uh, corner on top. On your title bar, you can have an extra button like this. It saves, save to Zotero.
Inshallah. So I think you may have downloaded uh, the, the, the both uh, connector and the uh, desktop version. Once you download, we can see uh, Zotero like this. This is how it look like. Our next step is we are starting to build the library. This is our own area. It's our own property. So we need to add a reference a source of information. For example, we are reading something called public health or road transport. List, for example, we have 157 documents. Maybe I read this article. I've just opened the article. Scopus is giving us the basic information like that where where with which journal is published and the abstract not not to be the full text Scopus is, is a citation database only giving the basic information metadata or the title uh, abstract uh, the, the source of publication etc so you thought that you read this art uh, abstract you might thought that ah oh, this is a good article which i can use it my paper so then we'll save the citation in our Zotero by clicking this button. Now we have option saved because I have a, gr a group called Sunday or, or we can uh, have my library. It, in the nurse case, it will be my library and it's saying that it is saving. So now when one click, the citation information is saved in our library. We can also save a group of citations. For example, you thought that you need more than one. You might feel that all these are important for me. Then we can click, we can select all. At that time, the icon will be changed here. Before it was one article format. Now it is showing as a, as a group, as a folder, all right? Click on that. Then the list of references available in our on open page is appears here. Again, you have a chance to choose few or we can choose all up to us. I'm choosing two, three, four now. Okay. So all the four references are saving in my Zotero library. If you open, later I've opened my Zotero, I can see all these references. For example, off-road vehicle. It is saved here as off-road vehicle track. All right. So this is one of the method and good thing about if what I'm suggesting, whenever you are searching an article, don't try to go through Google Scholar, try to get from our library website. For example, if you are searching through Science Direct, because once we, if you search through our library website, we can download the PDF because most of the references we have, the resources we have in our library, we can get full text. So for Science Direct, for example, or Springer, whatever it may be. Any keyword, I don't know what is that, let us see.
So we have this article, Arabian Journal of Chemistry. You thought that, okay, this is very interesting for your research. I'm just saving the citation to Zotero. So what Zotero is doing, it is also downloading the PDF. So try to download the citation from our website and, and library website. So we'll get, if we want to save the uh, PDF, this is the best option. All right. We can download citation from any resources, any databases in this way. Quite simple, you know, we can just click on this button. What about other manuscript which doesn't have any resource, any source of information online? We have to create manually. If it's a book, okay, you can click on book. If it's a document, it's an article, what maybe we can say a book. Then we have option to give the information by by manually. We can type in. This happens in the case of like old manuscripts. For example, you have a poster. There is no online information. You created the poster, but you want to put that poster as a reference. Then we have, uh, we can fill this form, this template, then we will have one reference here. Secondly, this is, you can say it's called a magic van. If we know the ISBN, for example, I have an ISBN now with me, 978-052-168-9397. Enter. What Zetoro is doing, it is trying to find the citation for this uh, particular ISBN and it put it here. It shows as a paper. So this is this was the book. Academic vocabulary in uh, so and so. So we have the references here. So if you know ISBN or DOI or PubMed ID, we can just type in and we'll get the information. The handy thing about uh, uh, Zotero is. Maybe you may have I'm just trying to find, uh, you know, I, I think my internet connection is unstable. I don't know why I stacked in between. Uh, no problem, no problem. I think we can hear you clearly, but the screen is not shown. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because I want to show something else. Uh, Uh, can you please explain uh, what yeah. do you mean by the no? I'm uh, one one. Someone is asking. The screen is not showing what you do. So, do you mean the screen share stopped? Yeah, screen share is stopped. Yeah, I'm trying to fix that now. It was frozen. Yeah, I'm getting the message. It is frozen. Yeah, I need to get back to that. Uh, I wanted to share my uh, okay. So now you can see, right? Yes. Yes, we can. But I think it's frozen again.
Is again frozen? Yes. Okay, what I wanted to say, we, if we have saved uh, any reference in the, in the form of PDF in our desktop, we can just drag that PDF into this page. That's what I was trying. So if, okay, we have anywhere we have, uh, some, sometimes we have saved all our references in PDF because we might have read so many articles. It might have saved in our desktop. So we can just drag that PDF into into, into our file, into our, uh, If any PDF file which can drag into this area, it will be automatically converted into uh, a citation, our reference. So we can try, uh, I'm unable to do that. So you can try whenever you are free. If anything saved on your desktop or in your flash somewhere, you can just drag them into uh, this area. You can just leave it, then it will be automatically converted into the citation. That's the idea that you can try later. So that's a very good thing. So because you already might have started working on your paper, you might have saved so much of PDF file somewhere. You can just come, you can just put on here in a group or single, it will be converted as a citation. So in this way, we can build our collection of references in our library. This is our own property, okay? We can, what Zotero is doing, once you have one uh, uh, reference, it all it automatically create, it can take to other page if you want to the original article or It, it appears so many tags here. This is called subject heading. Once we save the citation into the, the library, there are so many subject headings are saved here. The famous one. You, we can also, for example, if you are already, uh, working on road safety in the Middle East, we may have to, you know, sub, uh, have, to have something about UAE, something about Bahrain, something about Kuwait. We can add more tags saying Kuwait, for example. So later, by, by searching Kuwait, by clicking here, now we have Kuwait here. So it will be appear here somewhere. See, so once we click Kuwait, so anything about Kuwait will appear only Kuwait, that, that particular citations will be appear here. So we can have tags, we can have nodes, uh, now we have information about title, creator, year. We can have more information on the page. If you want to add publisher, yeah, then it publisher will be appear. Uh, date of publication. So we can add more information as we want. We have option here. So now this all reference in one place, right? we may need to categorize them into different groups. That is required when we are working in multiple projects in a two tasks at the same time. So we can have separate file. We can create new folder by giving any name. So I have a new folder name road, but there is no uh, res uh, any, any resource in that because it is a new, brand new folder. So what can you do? I can go to my library. I have this much information, this much references. I can just drag them. Mm -hmm. 
into road so now i have three uh, references in my folder at the same time it will be available here also so it is in, it is available in my library and roles so this way we can add more more uh, uh, folders it is very simple it's very simple procedure nothing much on that so this how we create the library and how to how can we make the folder this way we can remove that we can send it to trash you know anything we can do we can uh, right click and we can uh, move to trash you know, it will be moved to trash it will not i mean we will not lose because it is here and uh, you know we, we can take it back at any time so this how we are downloading and we are creating the library so far any any doubt so far so we can uh, export from any databases if we know that isbn or issn or doi we can just click on this button and we can add we can create manually and we can drag pdf from anywhere we can put it in here and we can convert them into citations so these are the four major methods we are building our library so far it's okay any questions so far guys if you have any questions please write in the chat i don't think there is uh, any question fine okay our major step now is we need to use these references in our document when we are writing articles we need to put them as a reference in our library so i'm just going to stop share this thing i'm going to take a word file now I'm going to start writing something. So we can see an extra button here on the word file called Zotero. When it appears, when we download the desktop version along with downloading, there is an extra button appears in our word file for Zotero. All right. So we need to insert some citation here while we are writing article. So what can we do? We can go to Zotero. and add citation the first time it will ask in which style we want so we have a list of style here you may feel oh i need more styles we have options to manage style because zotero is hold more than 5 approximately 9000 styles so in the preliminary they put only 20 25 titles here so we can enlarge our list by adding more styles so it will take you to that page because it will not see here so we when we want to add more styles in your page you can do that so i am taking now for example uh, vancouver style that's it okay so my style is vancouver now a new box appears what we want to serve, what we want to add a citation uh, i remember i put road ex exactly so i have a uh, road uh, title here so i take that one and enter so i have a new citation on vancouver style here yeah, it is already appeared here i continue yeah. writing i want to insert one more citation here maybe help let me try i have help or not i don't think anything reference maybe yeah i have some title saying reference we can search by author by title anything so i i will add this citation 
uh, Mr. Khaled, I think when you uh, click on add or edit citation, the small screen that you add from is not appearing. So maybe because, yeah, because it's another window, you have to screen share it separately. So. Okay. So I can share two at a at time at the same time. Uh, I, I, don't, I, need I to don't think so. I don't. Think I don't. So. Yeah, that's a, now I need to stop this one. So because I think this window is coming from Zotero, so uh, the screen. Yeah, it is in the yeah. So how can we solve that, Abdul Rahman? Uh, if you could just stop the word, the screen share for uh, a minute and share the other screen so just they can see how it looks like. I think uh, you c they can easily follow. Yeah, we know once we stop this one, then it, it should, you know, I can do it from word file. So yeah, uh, well, and we can assume that once what happens when add citation, there's a box appears that is not uh, appears in the screen. I don't know in the, in the scary. So where we can uh, just type in, but I don't know how to show that, you know I mean? When we stop this one, that will not come. You can just that's, assume that's okay. that if- That's yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, you, you might have tried others and it's like exactly like EndNote. You may have, yesterday, you might have, no, last week we might have attended EndNote. It's exactly like that. A new window pop-ups asking what you want to insert. So we have uh, option to type in then it will be appear all the list. So we can just press enter. It will be uh, showing us end. Now we have two citations uh, in our paper. So what need now, we need to add a bibliography. We need to have a reference site. Right? So we'll put our cursor at the end of paper. And we are typing as a reference then add bibliography. So we can change the style or now we did in, uh, in Vancouver style. Okay. Should come. Very strange. So we have two citations, then we put the reference, we put, then we have to see, then we have two references here in, for, for these two citations, we have two reference here. We can continue in uh, our paper, we can add more citation. I have another one. I have three citations here and three references here. So this way we can add citations in our paper and and and, and we can have some, and references. We can change the reference at any time by clicking here. We can choose another uh, style. So it will be automatically changed. That's what I said in the beginning. When one paper is rejected, we wanted to submit in another uh, publication in, a, in another journal in one click we can change all things it will be fixed for us so these are the basic functionalities how we can import citation from Zotero into our word file is it okay is it fine right yeah, I think so. Someone is asking which reference program is best to use, EndNote, Zotero, or Mendeley. <laughs> that is, you know, I that is the reason I told in the beginning. I don't want to take any risk. In this, this is purely depends on you. This, you know, depends on your taste. Some for some people, EndNote they like EndNote. Some people really like Zotero, and some are you know, Mendeley. But uh, what I'm suggesting, stick on what you would like. That's yeah, I think uh, it's a personal choice, but whenever yeah. you use the software, please just use one so we don't get confused. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, someone is asking if I want to add extra reference between reference two and three, will the reference be renumbered? Depends on the style. 
depends on the step. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If it is Vancouver, it will just show as number two and three. And in the reference, it will be, it will not change. And if you add same author two times here, reference will be remain same. I think he meant like if you have a reference one, two, three, and then you want to add a reference in between them. So it will renumber itself automatically. It yes. Yes. Automatically. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. If you miss something here, you know, you can add one reference here. Quite obvious. It is. It will be renumbered. We can. It, it, it will. It will happen. Now it is showing the number because I changed to other style. If you go to another uh, Vancouver. So we have one, two. Because this two and two is same. Because the same uh, author. That's the reason. Yes. See. Yes. So it will automatically it will be changed. No worries. It depends on the style which you are choosing. Any time, any place, you can insert citation in your paper. Okay. Someone is asking, how can we change the style? Uh, I think the problem is the window doesn't show. Uh, yeah. I think it's from we document can see the reference. We can see, I think they can see this one. Yeah, document, if you click on document preference, a list appears. Unfortunately, this, is, this you cannot see. What I am seeing now, a list of references appears. We have a choice there. We have around 9,000 styles appears now in front of this screen. Unfortunately, I cannot share that with you because you know no option to share. Here we have a list. Click on that, click OK. It will be changed automatically. You can try yourself. Anytime, because if you pass by the library, yeah, we can sit together or I can come to your department if you have any, any, any issue. Abdurrahman here, I'm here. So, no worries. You can just take an idea when the practically, because when maybe we, we may need our assistance anytime when you are doing practically, you can call us at any time, daytime. Either you can pass by the library or you can just, you know, if you're working in the in department, we, can, we cannot come home, but in any department you are in, the, in the way you definitely we can pass by. Yes, definitely. I think someone is asking how can we add reference from a newspaper or a conference site? Okay, not, okay, I, okay. Uh, yeah, I did not show you. Okay, fine. Yeah, fine. I'll stop share again. I'll go to. Uh... So this is our uh, ref, uh, our Zotero, right? I will. I'll stop this one. So for example, Gulf News, same, uh, I know what, as I said, uh, so we are, re we are reading Gulf News today. So you may interested in this article. Just click on this button, that's it. The, the citation is saving now in my library. We can change now, maybe if we want to have it Sunday, we can just change it to Sunday. So it, the reference will be saved. Or from YouTube, suppose if you are watching YouTube, but I, I don't know what is my YouTube shows now. I'm scared. So maybe we want to save this YouTube. 
now now the icon is changed now now the icon icon is changed as a as a video save this one so it is saving now quite easy uh, I so think, we can uh, save I think for, uh, so, sound is coming right uh, sorry uh, no not the sound uh, from the same person about the gulf news or the electronic reference in gen uh, general she's saying that sometimes it's not coming as a full reference especially for the arabic newspapers and it comes as a picture so can we add that manually i think uh, you can yes yeah it's uh, maybe uh, zotero is not that much compatible with arabic language yes so in that case we have an option to work as uh, uh, as uh, you know we can do manually yeah i think also uh, please like uh, if zotero doesn't show the date uh, i think zotero doesn't show when did you access the link right for it shows it, it, it shows it shows okay yeah and in, in, in the in the in the folder it shows that's uh, that's great Sorry. Sorry. So we have option here. Date modified. That's what you're asking, right? Date added. Am I right? Uh, yes, but uh, what I meant is uh, like when you add- Year of publication, this is the year of publication. I uh, know I meant when you add it as a reference uh, in the Word file, does it show uh, in the reference itself as a full reference? When did you access or no? Automatically? No. Okay. So I think they. Uh, need you know what, what 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 it takes. You know the the, the, the data takes. Yeah. It, you know we can add. Uh, it's already here. Yeah. We need to yeah. check it is coming or not. I am not sure. I did not that, check. That's what I meant. If it shows yeah, in the yeah. reference as a full. Yeah. Reference. It is here already. So this depends on the style actually when uh, maybe some styles may not need it. Yes. Because you know, maybe, I don't know which style actually need the, uh, the time which we access, but you know, in the, in the metadata, it shows when we access that one. But the other, other idea, uh, I need to check actually, I'm sorry for that, I, am, I did not that's, check. That's okay. Because yeah. we actually require, uh, as a CGS, we need them to add the date accessed and the link they retrieved from. So if Zotero doesn't show that automatically, uh, please don't forget to add that manually. So Yes, yes, yeah. Because uh, that's not acceptable without the date accessed and the link, because uh, it might be changed later. All right, okay, yeah. But normally it, it appears. When we do manually, uh, we have to add the, add the uh, time when we accessed. Now the question is where we have saved all this data in the desktop, right? So what will happen? Okay, you're working from home and we are working from office. You saved all your data in the in the desktop in your office, or or no, in your personal uh, PC. Once you come to the library to office, then you thought that okay, one I have one more. I can I want to add that. How what can we do? This we are all saved in the desktop. So there is an option now in uh, Zotero that we can synchronize. This is saved in our desktop. We can save the same library in the cloud. So we can have our library in both uh, desktop and in the cloud. What we have to do for that, we have to create an account with Zotero. So we have option here to log in. So now what we are trying to do, okay, we already saved our data in our desktop. We want to synchronize them. We, have to, we should be able to carry this data around with us when we are leaving the Institute or wherever we are going from here. So we can create an account. We can just click login. If we don't have, then we have to register for a free account. 
I have an account with Zotero. Now what Zotero is doing, you have seen my desktop, I had only few references, right? Maybe I have 10 references. Now can you see how many references I have? Because I have created so many references before from various desktop. Then I have created an account. I, or by, by automatically it all now synchronized. Okay. I have so many groups. This because these groups were not there. Now all the group are here. But still, we cannot see uh, what we have created today is road, right? It does not appear here. In that case, what we have to do? I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to. Uh, uh, Zotero again. This is my library. I go to edit preference. You can see this uh, now. You can see this, right? Can you see my my screen? Uh, yes, we can. Yeah, we have option to synchronize here. Because what I have saved here, how uh, my, 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 my account does not know where I have saved this one, right? I saved here in this desktop today, my actual, my, I created an account, but my account does not know it is me. So I need to synchronize this particular file with my account. What is my username? Now it is synchronized. All right, now we can have Sunday and road will be in my account. I have done so. Got it? So once we have once we have desktop version, we have to go to edit preferences and synchronize. The first time we, we will ask you to. Uh, give your username because it's already username BP Khalid already here. If I don't want to unlink account, I can unlink, but I'm keeping as it is now. Okay. So it will be synchronized now. If I go to the account, my account now, I will have road and Sunday with me. It should appear here. I don't know why it is not appearing. It should come. Maybe it may take time, but that road and transportation should come here because it is connected now. I need to check why it is not appearing. It should appear in the, in the list actually. Anyways, so I have so much of resources now.
I can also share this, my library with other people. I have already two groups like uh, training and UAU. I can create a new group and ask more people. Like I can put any name, for example, Cable create group. So I have a new group now called Cabell. I, I, am, I am the only member. I can add more members, my coworkers, send invitation, just put the uh, email ID of email addresses or Zotero username with a comma. Invite members. If the, the people those who have Zotero account, you can have more, you can add more people and have one account where we can share the, uh, our library, our resources, our citations. We can ask them to add more, etc. This is the one thing. This is how we have the advantage of groups. We can work together. We have a documentation. This is about how I mean, the, the, uh, we can just go through and we'll know more about how to work with Zotero. People, this is one good thing about, handy thing about uh, Zotero is you can search for people of your interest, like, you know, if you know anybody somewhere who is working in your field, you can just search their name by search people. For example, Ahmed, you know that one Ahmad is working the same topic which you are working on. You will have their data here. So you can make them friend. You can ask them, you can make them as our group, like our, our friend, like, you know, just like Facebook or something. That functionality is there. You can search the group, Cabin, for example. It's my group, that's the reason. So you can search by group, by people. We have forum. We can ask questions, we will know this, we can create a forum for Zotero. And we can, if you want upgrade the storage because this has only, and the, the desktop version, in the, in the cloud version, we have only 300 MP. Yeah, it is enough megabyte, 300 MB, that is enough for us. If we want to upgrade, then we have to pay. Like they're charging $20 in a year where we can upgrade, we can have more storage spaces. That may not require, because if you are adding more and more PDF, that case you may need. Otherwise, 300 MB is more than enough. So these are the basic functionalities of uh, Zotero. So we have, so we can go through a slight, uh, you know, cap like, you know, highlights. We have to download Zotero desktop version. Then we have to have a connector. Then we can, uh, then we can start building library, any resources from any resources. Or if you have saved some PDF in your desktop, you can just drag them, put it in the uh, in, in, the, in the area, body area, it will be automatically converted into citation. If you know ISBN, ISSN, yeah, you can just type in, it will be converted. If you don't have, we don't have anything, then we can manually, we can create. This is how we are creating the library. Then we can make it as a group. Then, then we can, no, we can import citation from our Zotero library into our Word file. So our document can be have all the, uh, uh, the citations which we saved in desktop. Once we create an account with Zotero, 
then we can synchronize our desktop version with online version. We can carry everything. We can make groups. We can uh, make forum. We can share our information with this account. So these are the basic functionalities of uh, and on, uh, sorry, Zotero. That once you start practicing, you will have more information on Zotero. We can, uh, you know, we'll have some doubt, then you will be able to solve that problem. You know, this is quite easy, very handy. So do you have any other questions? Yeah, we can just discuss. Uh, guys, do you have any questions? Um, some journals requires custom referencing style. Can we add their style? Someone is asking that some journals require some custom referencing style. So can we make a custom reference style and add it on Zotero? Absolutely. We can do that. But you know, uh, why I'm not sure I'm not that much good in, uh, in IT. It's quite easy if you have simple uh, slide because if you go to Google uh, Zotero website, so these are the repository. Uh, you can see it now, right? Yeah. Yes. So we have here everything. Any any title we want to customize that we can customize that. These are the list of 980 81. I hope we'll have all the style here. We can customize. How can we customize if you don't know? We have a forum. We have seen that forum, right? So they will tell you because the, those who are using this uh, Zotero frequently, they know how to solve issue. You can just raise a question, you'll get an answer if you don't exactly. So there is a solution for that. We can customize. Uh, that's great. Uh, someone is uh, asking if you could repeat how to invite members. So if it will take time, uh, I think you can watch the recording better. Uh, if it won't, uh, maybe Mr. Khalid can repeat it for us. You want me to repeat? I can repeat that. How to invite members. If it will take time, it's okay because we do have, we will have the recording. So it will be easy for the... We can show them. No problem. So it is a group. So I have a group here. I, then we have an option to manage members. Send invitation here. Type in either user, what is saying, username of Zotero, or if you know the email ID, yeah, maybe I have an, an another account with Zotero with this, this email ID. Only, only one condition is they have to have a Zotero account. That's it. I can invite this member. The person who I must send the invitation, they will get a notification that so and so person one is inviting you to join this group. So you can just accept that then he will be the member of this group. Same way, someone else can invite you and you just need to accept that. You'll get an email notification, then you can accept it. All right. Now in my library, I have two accounts, one for Endnote and one for Zotero. So the recording will be on our YouTube channel. It is uh, CGS underscore UAEU. Uh, you will find all the workshops and uh, also you can go to the CGS portal. You can find the upcoming workshops tomorrow and next week. And please also do not forget to fill the feedback form. Don't worry, it will be anonymous. So you can write your uh, feedback. I think most of the attendees today, they also attended uh, uh, EndNote last week, I hope. 
you know oh, what I we think. have done last week uh, beginning i just advised to not to keep two uh, uh, reference material tool in one live uh, in one place you now from here i can easily i can export to uh, zotero that's fine but maybe i am using end not what can i do for example i have shown last time this is how we are exporting into end not so it is end not here ris format i am choosing ris format what it is saying it is saying zotero connector what i was trying i was trying to import citation into end not online but you know if we have two then it is any one of this will appear like you know now it is i'm getting zotero connector but definitely we have an option to choose we can choose any one of that if you have downloaded both no worries we have an option to we have a solution for that so no worries so that is the reason i have asked you to not to have two reference management tools at a time so i'm not showing that how to fix that one that is not a big concern so if you any one of you want to know how to change from one to another just let me know uh, you can either you can write me or uh, you know you can email me i can just show you how to you know switch between one to another one uh, that's great okay. uh, someone is asking uh, uh, there might be some issues for zotero like for instance some resources might have a wrong publication data like uh, how can we know that uh, the information provided are the correct ones i'm not sure if that's uh, possible but maybe uh, mr khalid oh. will let us know <laughs> like for example uh, yeah. does zotero retrieve wrong data from the internet uh, wrong publication data maybe mm. author names or Uh, it, it will never uh, retrieve wrong information but you know there will be some slightly you know sometimes we need for example one of the citation they have to have the title like you know maybe uh, what zotero is doing all the words in the title start with the capital letter the t capital chrome c capital road r capital the citation style doesn't want that it want so the t should be capital rest of our following letter should be small in that case we need to come back to zotero library we need to fix that manually but to my knowledge zotero doesn't yield wrong information uh, yes yeah, no, so I... no worries about it that's no way what we are doing where from we are taking the information we are taking from authentic databases right we are taking from scopus we are taking from web of science we are taking from science direct so that will never give wrong information you know these are the authentic there is a reason i am i am i'm, I'm, I'm suggesting you always come to the library resources to go to uh, library.ua.ac.a to get the citation because there we will get exactly it will not make any mistake maybe the google scholar can make mistake but the authentic which we pay that will never make mistake zotero normally don't make such kind of blunder you know i mean So we can, miss, we can trust. Uh, miss, I, I think, yeah, I think we got to the point. That's uh, actually great. But Miss Ali is saying that from her experience, that uh, maybe it gave her a wrong uh, date of publication. But I think Mr. Khalid answered that maybe you got it from uh, a wrong source or like uh, not paid source. So that's why. So if you try to that get can be one there, reason. Secondly, right. okay, if it is in case if if Ali is looking for a book, for example, a book may have many editions. yes yes so she, she may have chosen the previous edition then the year of publication may have changed otherwise uh, you know almost same almost same title you know slightly different so by mistake we have chosen the other title that's also a possibility otherwise normally and uh, zotero cannot make that kind of mistake in the system i know It, it won't happen normally yeah maybe if it happened in one reference or two maybe the problem is with the reference itself but i don't think it will happen in all the references so yeah yeah if if areas are in a series like in examples we can just go into then we can have a look on that 
if she has an example she can share with us then we can definitely we can together we can look into that normally it's a machine like maybe but because zotero how many subscribers zotero have which have uh, around 1.2 million subscribers you know accounts with the zotero so they would have definitely they would have notified that you know this much 1.2 million people using zotero so you know definitely they would have uh, make an issue so we can hope that is not a case all right alia any other uh, concern uh, no i think only miss alia is just confirming that she also used from the uau library but yeah, Mr. Khalid said, if you have an example, you can share your screen with us now, yeah. and we can try to look at it. And we yeah. can write to them also. You know, you know, then that we can we can jointly we can take an action. We can write to if it is repeating. We can have a look on that if it is repeated uh, error. We can write them. Uh, yes, you can also yeah. try to yeah. give them a feedback about that. Absolutely, yeah. Then we'll have a, an upper hand. We can say, Alia has found this this error in the error. Yeah, normally it should, should not happen. Just uh, share with us if you have, have the same experience. Please share with us. We can definitely we can look into that. Guys, if you have any questions, you can write in the chat. If you want to raise your hand and open the mic, you can also do that. Please don't you forget to uh, visit the YouTube channel for all the previous workshops and the upcoming workshops. All will be recorded, and you can also fill the feedback form at the end of the workshop. Any questions? Uh, someone is uh, uh, asking about the YouTube channel. I have mentioned it a couple of times. Please read the chat. You'll find a link uh, for the YouTube channel. Again, I can share it. That's okay. It's called CGS for College of Graduate Studies underscore UAEU. If you type that, you'll find it easily. So again, I'm sharing the link for yesterday's workshop about thesis formatting. So you can click on that and subscribe and uh, you will find all the workshops. Any questions for uh, Mr. Khalid? Uh, no, I think Abdurrahman, uh, I think Alia and uh, Muhammad Khattab also raised the same concern, like, you know, they're getting the wrong uh, uh, year of publication. Yeah. I... Let, let us go, go to the, let, let us look together, inshallah. Uh, please be in connect with us, you know, let us see how, it, how why it is happening. And it is repeatedly, this happens, then definitely we can write to them. Please yes. stay in touch with us, you know, inshallah. Someone, someone else is also confirming that. So maybe we can just send them a feedback about that. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Alia want to ask something. Yeah, I'll unmute her. Just a second, please. Shiham also say, said the same thing, yeah. Hi, all. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, uh, I'm thank fine. you for this uh, informative uh, workshop. Uh, concerning the uh, wrong things I got, I get. Um, I don't mean that is it's uh, Zotero's responsibility. I was just saying that it happens, especially with the, uh, for example, sometimes in the uh, pages, instead of uh, mentioning the pages from two, it mentions the number of the pages. For another example, is the date of publication. Sometimes it's wrong. Sometimes the order of the author's name is wrong instead of the first, uh, second, and third comes first then second. I, I, found, I found a lot of mistakes. So you can't trust just uh, adding the resources and, and uh, go. You have to check every single detail. Sometimes it takes much time. Sometimes, sometimes it's very easy. It depends on what information was, it was entered into this PDF because Zotero, I think it shows what was entered into the PDF. Exactly, so, yeah, exactly. No. change that. Yeah, def yeah, yeah, definitely. No, we are actually we are not advocating Zotero. No, we we are all on the same boat. Like, you know, if you have any, we found any mistake in Zotero, definitely we have to raise that. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah, need. That, we that's need. What yeah. To say. We, that's just don't trust whatever you f find on Zotero. I yeah. mean, on the PDF, you yeah, need to uh, match the information in the PDF itself when you when you open it to the what to the the ones that are available in the uh, side panel, the side. Uh, you know, when you enter the information on the side of the Zotero, you can Thank enter you everything so manually. For, you can correct everything. Thank you so much oh, for raising no that. Problem. Yeah, Thank fantastic. You. What, 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 Alia, what I will do, I'll try to import maybe from Zotero, just uh, I'll try to import 10 or something, uh, maybe. 
and say from and see in any mistake then no, we can then we can start raising the question i mean we can do so inshallah i'll try with the 10 to 15 uh, pdf files let us see because we are not for zotero no. for us it is all same like you know and not or better or mandalay so if it is a repeated mistake then we can go for mandalay you know we have option why should we trust zotero anymore inshallah so I, th I don't think we have any more questions. I think uh, we can stop the recording here.